Hi, guy. I don't understand what happened. What was that about? You make man. Keep an open mind while watching. It's the easiest way to learn our videos. We'll teach you road etiquette while providing a certain dose of entertainment, learning, and having fun. Let's go. We talk back there. You don't gotta keep following me. The biker confronted the driver for trying to switch lanes. Side by side with the bike, the driver threatened to be the biker. What about? What happened? I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. What was that about? I you gotta cut me off. I got you on camera. Classic man. You gonna beat me with a whistle, man? You know what the fuck I am. The taxi driver pulled over suddenly without using his indicator. The biker got mad at this and engaged him in an argument. Merge out with the indicator that way. Do you? You get angry all you want, you prick. The biker nearly got knocked over while trying to overtake a truck, switching lanes. The rider was ready to battle it out with the truck driver. In this video, it's not fair to blame the biker, but allowing a van in would be the better option. You never know if the driver has spotted you. Bike versus van isn't a fair fight if you're in such a situation. It is safer to just let them in. Road rage for no apparent reason at McDonald's drive thru.
We have no information on why this man acted this way, perhaps he was just looking for trouble, but we always recommend not to argue or to get into fights on the road. cool to ride a bike his ass you can huh something dickhead oh yeah you're gonna be all over the internet man. yeah get better cool. Biker gets annoyed when he sees the driver using a phone. Let's see how he reacts. Put your phone down, mate. Put your phone down. You can't, you shouldn't be driving on the phone, should you? Doesn't matter, if the engine's on, you shouldn't be doing it. That's all. People like me may die every day because of that. Just let you know. Car failed to give way, almost caused a three vehicle incident. Good thing he kept an eye on the approaching car before the intersection. Biker told him on multiple occasions to leave his bike alone, but this guy just kept pushing the wrong buttons. At this point, the biker had enough and he resorted to showing this guy not to mess with him. What do you guys think of this crazy scuffle and how would you react to this? Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Unbelievable that nowadays people are so distracted not paying attention to the road. This video needs to be shared more.
After getting cut up, this biker only wants it to point out the mistake that the driver made, but the driver didn't do bad at all. This clip will show you why road rage is pointless and the engineering in the other and yourself is not worthy. The biker confronts the driver for throwing out a cigarette stash while having a tag on her car that says, protect the reef. She accepted her fault to prevent the rage from escalating. Reef on your tag? Your tag says protect the reef? Yeah. How about the trash you throw out your window back there when you threw out your nasty ass cigarette? Come on now. You want to protect the reef, why not protect the rest of your mind? Have a great day. 15. Oh well. Cool. Have a good one. It seemed like he pressed the brake and accelerated pedals by mistake. The wind changed three lanes at once and caused an incident that made the car uncontrollable. The car was in front and almost got into an accident for not paying attention. The driver was not paying attention and crashed into the rear end and he suffered minor damages, but it ended up costing over $2,000 to fix. This guy stopped and the driver of the Toyota SUV was unattentive and he almost hit his left front car. I did was just hate it and now it's like this. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> nice! Oh no, is everyone okay? You want to check? Yeah. Oh, yeah.
The car on the left runs a red light. Even though this driver falls, she continues the other car is still arguing. in Southeast Washington, D.C. Ben Claddle oh, is zipping her three and four year old oh, pre K oh, students oh, 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 in Marcus to head outside. The impatient driver wanted to overtake the car, but he was speeding and had to pay a heavy price. This guy had to slam on my brakes, so he didn't crash into him. Good job. Why it is illegal to turn wide in BC. This action is three demerit points and a $109 fine in BC. Watch. Next, our dash cam catches a near miss incident in San Jose, California. This person forced their way in front of the driver in an intersection and then brake checked him. The driver forgot that when changing lanes in front of another vehicle, he must yield right of way, which he did not. Still not paying attention, he then stuck the truck while he still had the handheld cell phone. Wet conditions made the driver slide and almost T-bone their vehicle. 
Luckily, they didn't crash and everyone was left unhurt. Heading back from Tucson to Phoenix on the I-10, traffic suddenly came to a stop because of an incident two miles ahead. Muggle decided he didn't have to wait at his red light during heavy traffic, this time in an area causing this driver to brake and honk his horn. Driving northbound on Highway 31 just past Vernon and this guy pulled out in front of me. Luckily for my driving technique, I was okay. Lexus changes lanes without a blinker. I saw her turning with the direction of the flow, so I got over thinking she would have maintained that lane after joining traffic, but no. car crashed the wall after it got cut off in Chicago. Watch out for others is the lesson. Driver avoided an incident with his Goldwing trike. Thank you for watching Bay's Lab channel videos. If you enjoy our journey of discovery, don't miss out on what's next. Subscribe, like, and share our videos. See you soon!